Hi and welcome to another SPT screencast. Today we're going to take a clean SPT installation and populate our, some targets. So first we're going to navigate to the targets page. Notice we have no targets. So first we're going to kind of prepare uh, the database. So on the targets page you're able to to customize three different columns. So these are different metrics that you may want to track. So we're going to try manager, uh, region, and seniority. These are things that we care about within our organization. So now that I've got that populated, we're going to add one target. We're going to add the boss. So we're going to add David at my corp. Com. We're going to make him group zero and we're going to make his boss uh, CEO. We're going to give him the global region and he definitely has seniority. So we have now added David into group zero. So now that's, that's how you would add one target. Now we're going to add a lot. So what we've done is we've got a default template that you can download, modify it, and then upload it. Now when you do upload the CSV file, the column names have to match what you have. So if you've customized your column names, they're going to have to match what's in the CSV file. So now I see that I've had 12 of 12 targets uploaded successfully. And now you see I've got several groups here. So I can look at each individual group. And I can see that I have some different people here. I have the columns populated. And a cool thing that I can do is, let's go back to David. Well, I didn't actually populate his manager's name. So I'm going to do that now. So we'll go with Dan. And notice that I can change each item in real time. I don't have to hit save. I just make the change and move along. And that's how you populate targets in SPT.